Yes. <clears throat> I'm the only philosopher and union member running for U.S. Senate. I've been working for four decades as a state employee at the University of Georgia teaching philosophy. My wife is an immigrant from India who's been practicing employment discrimination law and immigration law. We have three children who have gone through the public schools in Athens, Georgia. But I want to talk about solutions. The COVID pandemic leaves us with a stark challenge. To escape death and destitution, we must secure everyone's health care, livelihood, and housing. This amounts to completing the unfinished business of the civil rights movement, forging the economic emancipation that is the key to enabling business to prosper in the black community and in America at large. Now how? We wipe out unemployment and poverty income with federally guaranteed jobs starting at $20 an hour and equivalent benefits for the disabled and retirees. We separate healthcare from employment with Medicare for all taking the burden of medical costs off business. We balance work and family with paid leave, public child and elder care, and $900 monthly child allowances. We even the playing field between employer and employee with collective bargaining and employee seats on corporate boards. We make decent housing affordable for all and require payment rescheduling in place of evictions, foreclosures, and utility turnoffs. We achieve equity in education with national funding of schools, eliminating student debt, and free tuition and stipends at public institutions of higher learning. And we offer legal care for all so everyone can have access to legal representation in civil and criminal matters. Thereby, we remove the shackles of the past and secure the healthy, stable workforce and robust consumer demand with which business can flourish. Let's save ourselves by making America a better, more just nation. Thank you.